Hey guys, and welcome to a new comic book review. Today we're talking about Lex Luthor uh, by DC Comics. This is the Year of the Villain one shot about Lex Luthor by, um, I like how it said Luce. Wait, who's, this? Who's, who's the writer for this? It's written by Jason. No. Oh, you know it's not. It's Jason Latours. Latours? Why does that name remind me of the person who wrote, uh, I, is that not the person who wrote Spider Gwen, is it? Back in the when Spider Gwen started? I feel like that's. Or is that something else? I don't know. But it's also drawn by Brian Hitch, so that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Brian Hitch is a nice artist. But that's off with Superman. He's coming down to like a, um, whatchamacallit, a, uh, whatchamacallit, a, uh, a, 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 um, science fair thing. And we see Lex Luthor is not there. But then we see he's at his house with some stuff. He wants to go, but his dad's like, Loom likes to be drunk or something. But he, he does something happens when he falls on the ground, like, not dying or something. Or good, but then Lex Luthor shows up. I'm like, hey, I'm here, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna show you what's going on. And he basically shows him what's going on with everything. He's like, oh, okay, so now I know what's going on with every kind of good little bit. And it's like, uh, and he takes his father and basically kills his father. I'm like, oh shit, he just killed his father. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm kind of confused where this is going. It's like, these guys present only Luthor is what the story is called. I'm like, okay, so we just killed his father. I feel like that fucked up the timeline. Then we see like these Russian version of Superman or whatever, or like weird Superman like character. And there's like Serial, he's on Jam, he's on like everything, like everybody's addicted to this character. To a weird extent. I don't know, it's made by Luke, Luke, Lex Luthor's corp or something, but then we see Batman with a weird symbol on him. And so it's the whole scene, uh, the whole town, like day plan, everything's destroyed, Lex Luthor, everything's destroyed, and he's like trying to figure out what's going on. And he goes to a uh, city to the future. Him and the young of it, and we see uh, this looks like Martian Manhunter mixed with Superman character. Really interesting, talking about some stuff. And then we cut to uh, talking to, it looks like he's talking to a uh, Batman from the future. The version of Batman from the future who is also Lex Luthor. So Lex Luthor comes, became Batman, it looks like in this fusion. And it looks like he is um, Butler is Superman, Clark Kent. I'm like, that's interesting. I would I would read a comic about Lex Luthor being like a Batman and Superman being like Clark. Being like the butler, it looks really cool. And I'm kind of really interested in this. Also, we have, like I said, the Superman on the uh, uh, the Mothman and Superman thing was from the same race it looked like. So it's like, okay, cool. And they obviously like to sort of fight the other one and try to stop him. And fight him. And eventually, it's like, yo, these uh, what's it called the Superman, uh, the John, uh, the John, um, Mothman on Superman comes in. And it's like, oh shit, he has to fight this giant thing with basically Doomsday. Like a Doomsday Lex, uh, what's it called? Doomsday? Doomsday, yeah, the guy who killed Superman back in the 90s. Fight a giant version of him and he has to fight him, so that's going on. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to my friend? Like, this Lex Luthor is a good Lex Luthor. He's one of the good Lex Luthor, so it seems like he's going through and the maze destroying all the good Lex Luthor's, and it seems like the kid. Did the kid die or something, or did he get hit? Definitely knocked. Oh, the. That kid, so he knocked out the Batman one, knocked out the kid, and gives him out of the way, so then not have to worry about him. And they teleport. Then we go to S1, the future. We see he looks like Superman, and he looks like maybe he's very old, it looks like what this character is. Or could be Pan White, I'm not sure. And we see this creature here, and we see a Lex Luthor, he's in a hospital, and he seems to be dying, he, and he looks weird, and he looks kind of like into himself, like he kind of like. Touches him, like, I guess we just mind or something, and he's like, he was like, thank you, and he leaves, so it's like, and then you see him smile when he dies, so it's like, he gets something out of it. Then we cut to Earth 50, where we see Lex Luthor looks like with President or something. And he actually was President, so I'm like, that's, but that's why he's President. It looks like we have the Lincoln Memorial, and that just looked like it was Lex Luthor, a chance to Lex Luthor. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. And obviously, the kid is eating a Twinkie, got a Twinkie survive the everything, and then we cut to uh, Earth 44 now. And we see another version of Lex Luthor, and he's a guy who makes shoes. Well, I'm like, that's an interesting version. I feel like this Lex Luthor, the one who's making the shoes, he's in a, you know, that's got to be from, like, the S50. I'm going to, 44, I'm going to say it's RS, because I don't see any people here on that S. I just see a guy making shoes, and obviously, the one kid, like, covers his head and, like, suits something, and bags, and he looks like probably kills him. And we cut to S13 now, where it seems like a bunch of guys die, and we have this... Uh, Lex, who is like a medieval guy, kind of like Lex, and he dies. So I think it looks like they're going around and killing because all these Lex, for the most part, seem to be good guy Lex. 
good guy range of Lex, so that's what they're doing. Killing all the good Lexes, I guess. Stopping him. We have this other Lex who has a beard and stuff. Looks cool. And a lot of the guys are cool, and I would read books in these characters by themselves. It'd be cool to get that. But obviously, they're talking to the guys of Greed, like God and everything, and da -da -da, talking about everything. All the different Lexes and all the different things that are going on, and da da da. Having this big talk with this Lex, this is the one they talk to, I think, one of the most. And he basically the kid guy with and kill them with like boom, he killed them, like no mercy, he basically killed them. Then Lucy says, Yes, Alexander, and he gives them like a Lex Lucy suit and they fly off. And then we realize uh, we have Lex and he's looking in a tube or something and he finds out the kid, the like, little kid Lex, is in this machine, in this like cryogenic tube or something, and he has this like um um whatever this thing is attached to him and it's making him maybe see all this stuff so it's like this is human DNA back up to zero one point zero and that's where the book ends I'm like oh shit this is kinda interesting so was that all just a not just a game because it's probably all made did that happen did it not happen was it was it like a thing could the Lex already go and kill these other Lex or did he do or was it not or did these Lex not actually die and it was just like hey we're just showing you all the stuff in his head he Lex showed him all the stuff in his head to just be like to make him kind of who he is, so like, yeah, so kind of interesting, I did like this book, I found it really great, I really enjoyed it, I had fun with this book, I've been enjoying the Year of Runs, I think Year of Runs has been interesting so far, it's an interesting concept, and we haven't got, I feel like, too deep into it, we got a little bit, this issue was cool to get a Lex Luthor book about Lex Luthor, Lex Luthor is a cool character, I've been enjoying what they've been kind of interesting, what you've been going through being a hero and then turning back to your line. It's been interesting. The book is actually really good. I actually thought it was cool. And it's cool to see all these different versions of Luck Lucio and some other characters. So, like, I don't know. I guess it's like, this book is a 9. Me, I really enjoy it. So, what do you guys think of this book? Do you guys enjoy Luck Lucio's Leo the Villain number 1? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's talk about it. You guys can always stay epic. I'll see you next video, guys. Bye.